Hey guys, it's Luke here, and I thought I would make a re-review of the MMO, um, considering that the game has changed like drastically over the past couple of uh, like three, four weeks. So um, I'm gonna give you guys an overview of the game, uh, the main menu, uh, the website, and the new panel, and then tomorrow I'm gonna make gameplay because I, tr for some weird reason weird reason and you'll see it right now is there's really low fps in the background on obs and my mouse is lagging even though i'm actually not lagging apparently i have uh, 11 fps on obs so i'm gonna have to use fraps but if i use fraps i get really big file sizes so rendering and uploading takes a while and it's like t one o'clock in the morning so i just want to get my review up and out tonight so you guys can check that out in the morning and then there'll be gameplay out tomorrow afternoon ish so let's start with the review so this is the mmo 2 i suppose you could call it uh, it's an update a uh, pretty big update they've done uh, pretty drastic and uh, it's changed the game quite uh, a lot so let's open up a google and go to zmmo.com so this is the new website you can check out screenshots you press it and it will take you down to the screenshots you can press the about section it'll take you to the about you have the z panel registration rank so let's start with the panel so first of all you know log in once you have logged in you can see your characters, the players online, YouTube, montage, the newest montages, new polls then there's the donate button as always there's the key redeems if you have any keys the invite friends, the character panel but you have to actually select a character, the pack maker and I don't know if this 100% works no, I don't think it does at the moment. I'm not percent sure. There's the buy packs. Apparently there's some new packs. Okay, now I think the prices have changed a little bit. I'm not 100% sure because I haven't played ZMO for a while. And then there's the polls. There's always that you can either create a poll or there's uh, old, old polls. Okay. There's the case system. So basically there's these cases in the game you can find and you can open them and get a bunch of prizes. But I think I think I'm gonna make a separate video on that because I need to get some first. And then there's the marketplace. So you can uh, just just buy stuff on here like keys and stuff like that. Or you can trade on Steam for stuff. But uh, that's that. So let's go to the farm. The farm hasn't changed at all really, cause it's kind of the same. If you want to check the updates, we'll go on here. <clears throat> there's a new maps coming out. Uh, there's a few screenshots on here. This is an island map, which I actually really want to play. This map looks fucking cool. And I think a lot of guys are liking it. <coughs> but I'm looking forward to playing that map 100%. Uh, as far as the patches go, um, I'll show you the last couple of patches so you can kind of see what happened. So basically what they did is they made a post saying about the future of ZMMO and what they did is, is they kind of changed the game quite a lot. Then in the hotfix, hotfixes, hotfixes is the patch notes. So the latest patch note they've give um, a new account, I have to confirm email, stuff like that. Uh, then they added to the crates uh, NVIDIA lockers, blue DXs, blue DXs are like better than the normal DX but they can't, I think they're rare, they were a lot rarer. Uh, they've got new uh, skins, the AW Magnum, Sky Blue, the VSS Red Diamond, the FN Blue Diamond, the Katana. There's this thing called a Z Counter. It's like a stat track, I think. Yeah, I think, no, it's like a stat track, but I don't know whether it's a stat track for zombie kills or player kills. I'm not 100% sure. You're going to have to check that out. Uh, there's uh, the uh, Eternal case, and then there's the Break case, which has like uh, a donated token, which gives you like GC and stuff. Gives you private server for a day, 500 GC, an AW Magnum, M107 Darkness, Sega Swift, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so, yeah, they've been kind of changing the game quite a lot. Um, let's take a look at what they did. So, they wiped all of the snipers from everybody. In everybody everybody in the game has all their snipers gone. Uh, you kept all of your like, TARs and SIGs and Honey Badgers and Night Stalkers and Elite weapons and stuff. All custom armor got wiped. Um, 
uh, C mags got wiped and they turned into Tanag 40s, which is why I have two separate piles of Tanag 40s. Uh, that's the only thing that got wiped. No melees got wiped, only custom armor got wiped, and DXs got wiped. But uh, they gave everybody like they gave everybody 5k GC like two or three times now, so you can pretty much get like 800 DXs off that, and then you can farm the rest. They've changed the loot quite drastically as well, so you can pretty much get all your fucking loot back again like really fast. I have took some time off the MMO because of the everything that was changing, and plus I took a break off ISS completely. But yeah, let's take a look at the maps. So now they have Clearview, Destroy, Frosty, a new map called Heaven, which is fucking awesome, guys. Uh, no way and Rocky. Then for uh, private servers, people have been buying private servers quite a lot, actually. Uh, as you can see, there are fucking a lot of private servers. And there's a custom map called ZMMO PVE. Uh, it's just zombies. People leave it open, like that guy. Some guys leave them open so you can farm on them. Um, PVE servers. Oh shit, wait there, sorry. You've got the PVE and trade server, community event servers, there's a cliffside event server or stronghold server. Uh, premium I don't have. We'll go to servers and I'll show you. You can rent a stronghold for a shit ton of GC. And you can rent a game server for like 3k, like, like 7k. For 60 days, 60k. You can get more slots, obviously, but it costs a lot of money. 100 slots for 3 days is like 30k, it's crazy. Um, marketplace, they've changed the marketplace drastically. Uh, a lot of the guns are cheaper as far as, far as ARs are concerned. Um, shotguns are more expensive, so there's no like spawn camping with shotguns anymore. Ammo is the same prices. Uh, these are the same prices. All the custom armor's gone. It's just the normal armors. Food same, DX is, in, is now 15, DX is for 6,000, uh, it's 5,000 for 100 binoculars, the barricades have gone up by a little bit, I think, I'm not 100% sure, and <coughs> attachments remain the same price, uh, they, wipe, they wiped reputation and time played, I think, and I think they wiped skill tree, but I think I have it back already, yeah, I have my skill tree back. I think they wiped skill tree, but they added it back. So I got my skill tree back, don't worry about that. Um, but besides that, guys, that's pretty much all they've done. Uh, this is my re-review of ZMMO. I gave it a 9 out of 10 for emulators. All they really need to do is release all the new maps. That's the only thing that this game's missing is like new maps, really. But as soon as the new maps are out, I'll be giving this game a 10 out of 10, 100%. So guys, stay tuned to my channel for more ZMMO content and daily gameplays. Peace out.